Hello guys, I hope you all doing good. In the previous video where we solved this question where we had to capture the product that is visible in the viewport, we had solved that in vanilla JavaScript. And the perspective of solving that question was that this uh, um, we are going to create a library in vanilla JavaScript that can be injected in any website and there we can use that library to capture the product which is currently in the viewport. Now I'm going to solve the same problem, but I'm going to implement that in react and that too, I'm going to use intersection observer. So what intersection observer is, it is a native API provided by browsers in JavaScript using which we can detect if the element, any DOM element is currently interacting or not. So we can pass the area in which we have to detect if the element is interacting or not. So if there is a wrapper or anything else, you can pass that. We can decide the threshold if the element is partly visible or fully visible. And then the root margin, I mean, how many offset you want the element to be. It can be, you know, um, 200 pixel of the element should be visible or 300 pixel that can be decided in the root margin. So using this interaction observer, what we'll do is we'll create an application in react and at the application level only we'll add this interaction observer, intersection observer and that intersection observer will detect if ele element is currently in the viewport or not. So let's get, set, uh, sorry. So let's get started. I already have the CSS ready for the blocks and also the root element and as you can see the boilerplate for the react application is ready. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to render a block or a grid uh, which will you know replicate the products that are listed on any website. So let's do that. Const element and this will take a index. Index is basically for the uniqueness of the application uh, identifier will be used to uh, define what the application looks like and here we'll return a div element and in that we'll print the index and here we'll pass the same as the key now inside the application let's create 20 grids and uh, for that i'm using an array which will be an array sorry i'm using an array and i'll be creating uh, 20 elements so i'll be iterating it 20 times and here in the blocks we'll push the element with the index which will be the arrays index plus one just for the simplicity and here let's create a wrapper div class equals to wrapper and inside that we'll render these blocks so blocks if I click on run you will see uh, around 20 grid should be rendered so we forgot to add the class here to the elements that they are block to implement the style sheet see so right now we have one two three up to 20 elements now to detect if they are in the viewport or not or it is intersecting or not we what we'll do is we'll create a custom hook that hook will observe the elements and whenever the element is interacting it will return true that yeah they are in viewport and if they are not interacting it will return false so let's create a custom hook that hook will use the reference to uh, you know element reference to detect if the element is interacting or not because intersection observer works on elements so we need to create a reference to the element and we have to pass that reference to the hook so that it can determine if the current element is intersecting or not so here let's create a reference for each element so const ref is equal to use ref and then is in viewport 
and here we'll use the use on screen hook and this hook we are going to create and to this i'm going to pass the reference and on each element i'll attach a reference so that we can access the element in the hook now using this reference we can decide if the element is in the viewport or not so let's create use on screen hook and this will accept the reference now to create an intersection observer or what we have to do is we have to create a new observer and that observer accepts a callback and an set of options so let's copy this let's create an observer because we are not going to change it right that's why i'm creating a constant variable observer and here we are going to have a function and then the options so in the options right now what i'm interested is i want to set the threshold as one so a threshold of one means that the hundred percent of the target is visible that means if the complete element is visible in the grid uh, sorry if the complete element is visible in the viewport then only we'll consider it as intersecting that means if you see the view currently one two and three is completely visible that means they are intersecting all others are not so for these three numbers we will get that they are in the viewport so that's why i'm creating uh, keeping the threshold as one and here in the callback function what we receive is we receive entries so entries are basically we check you know are they intersecting or not see this is a variable or a property available on the entry that tell us if the current element is intersecting or not so using this we can determine if the element we have passed as reference is intersecting or not so we are going to pull this and what we are going to do here is we'll pull the entry from the array and then i'm going to create a state because we need to pass this data back right when we are using this hook use on screen hook we have to return the data here so here we are accepting a boolean value which shows that if the element is in viewport or not so for that we'll create a state is intersecting and then set intersecting and the initial value of this will be false and here what we'll do is we'll set the intersecting to whatever the entries value is so if the entry is intersecting it will automatically update the state to true otherwise it will update the state to false now that the observer is ready we have to attach the observer to our reference so we have the observer we have the state ready now we have to attach this reference that we are receiving in the hook to this observer for that we are going to use the use effect hook and when the component mounts what we'll do is we'll say that observer dot observe so this is the method natively available on the observer and we have to say that observe and what we have to observe is the element in the reference so as you may aware uh, the use ref hook returns a reference object and inside the reference object the current property holds the reference to the any element that is provided so we are we are saying that the current element you have to observe and when the application will unmount what we want to do is unobserve or disconnect you can do anything so right now i am saying that if you are going to unmount you start unobserving the current application so in the intersection if you see uh, if it is listed or not we have to observe uh, i'm not able to find out yeah see so we have to create a new observer and then we have to say that observe the element that we want to check if it is in uh, in the viewport or not similarly there is another method available unobserve and uh, there is also so observe unobserve and then there is disconnect disconnect completely disconnect the observation 
so there will be no further uh, so the complete intersection itself will be disconnected and there the state won't be live this observer won't function any forward so our hook is ready we have uh, we have said that you start uh, observing the element and now i just have to return the state over here so here i have to return the is intersecting state now here the state is being written and here the state is being pulled now let's print this and this will give us if the any time the element state changes it becomes uh, so it starts interacting or it stops interacting this value will be updated and we'll see if it is interacting or not so either i can add a conditional check if is in viewport then we can sorry so then we can print the index like which all element is in the viewport so let's do that let's click on run see now because uh, you know when the page reloaded the console was here so one two three four five six all six elements were in the viewport so if i scroll up you will see that it randomly printed the number six one two four five and then there will be three okay so six one two four five and below five is three that's because uh, whenever so there can be a minor delay in the you know state updates so how react uh, does the state updates uh, that's how the numbers are printed but uh, you you see that uh, all the six element were in the viewport that's why we are seeing six one two four five three after that when i increase this scroll up the view size decrease that's why you see that the number keeps changing if i clear this and if i scroll down a little let's say up to here see the moment these three element become uh, visible in the viewport completely we got the number printed so two three and one now if i scroll it let's say see the moment four five six become visible we are able to see four five six all other elements are not interacting it is in the fault state so that's how you can use the uh, interest intersection observer uh, and wrap the logic inside a hook and use it to determine if any element is currently in the viewport or not I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you for your time.